What's going on you guys? So I'm here drinking my delicious yerba mate after a very long trip to Austin, uh, Austin, Texas, here in America, in case you guys aren't here or whatever, don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about my approach to exercise, okay? So I get a lot of comments from people asking what my opinions are on exercise and like let's say somebody just wants to be healthy right um, exercise for health rather than you know to, to lose weight or to build muscle or you know because those are kind of those are kind of uh, empty goals like who, who cares about how your body looks like for me personally like I do have muscle and I guess a lot of people think I'm pretty built or I look physically attractive in that way but for me, I never really cared that much about how I looked. I've always been more for sports performance or just because I love exercise, really. I love exercise. But my main goal is sports performance. But as far as health is concerned, you know, that's a very realistic goal that I think should be of primary importance to everybody. No matter what your main objective is, even if you were trying to train for strength, um, you should always have your health first in mind because most bodybuilders and uh, mostly bodybuilders are the ones who always get injured and complain about their shoulders and whatnot. Even powerlifters, obviously, they do that too. But um, so exercising for health should be the first priority should be to prevent inner injury, okay? When you exercise for, gen, for, for general health, the, the main priority should be mobility of the joints. It should be stability of the joints. Um, endurance is very important, you know, because that's, you know, cardiovascular endurance is going to increase your longevity and your lifespan and help prevent uh, cardiovascular disease. It's also got a very significant anti depressant effect and has been shown to increase brain derived neurotropic factor in your brain which is the neurotransmitter or the peptide responsible for um, basically organizing the file cabinet that is your mind so anytime you get really like angry you know the fight or flight response kicks in you need to go and fight and flight you need to run you need to lift weights you need to exercise to get rid of that cortisol that's just kind of like sticking around okay uh, whenever you are stressed from like crazy driving or something um, arguments you know you've got to let go of that stress somehow it'll just sit there in your physiology and so the best way to do that is to exercise, is to get a massage, is to go in the hot tub. Okay, very important. That's how the human body is meant to detoxify stress. Um, so, you know, stress relief is another primary importance, okay? You need to be enjoying what you're doing. Um, any kind of basketball or uh, soccer, you know, even tennis for some people. For me, I love martial arts training, these things, they emphasize cardiovascular activity and they can be used to increase endurance and, and health, really. Um, but uh, stability and mobility should be number one. So that means yoga, that means uh, kettlebell exercises. Um, the perfect example of a mobility and stability exercise would be a um, Turkish get up, okay? A Turkish get up. Search that up on YouTube, and that's a perfect example of stability and mobility because it puts your body in multiple planes of movement. It increases the, you know, because you got to hold a kettlebell straight up over your head while you're getting into a lunge and you're doing a sit up and all these crazy things. So it's forcing your body to stabilize all the joints um, while getting into different positions. Very key. Um, I think, I think all forms of compound movement, squatting, I think deadlifting is great. Um, instead of bench pressing, I think overhead press is great. Um, just to build, you know, your baseline capacity for absolute strength. That's very important as you're getting older. But 
the main priority should be mobility and stability. So you don't want to lift so heavy that you're sore, um, you know, for three days. And you don't want to be lifting, you know, anywhere close to failure, really, if your goal is health and longevity. Um, because you're going to put yourself at increased risk of, of um, you know, injury. And also because when you're, when you're sore, you're not going to be able to stand for long periods of time or do yard work or uh, anything like that. And you don't really need to get to that point where you're sore. I mean, of course, most people are gonna be pretty sore at first when they first start training, but you wanna stay away from failure. As long as you stay within a seven to eight percent of, uh, or a seven to eight out of 10 of uh, perceived exertion, you should be fine, okay? But basic strength training exercises, emphasizing free weights and compound movements, stay away from failure. You wanna make sure that you're training your entire body, okay? But doing body weight movements is key, okay? Uh, Push-ups, pull-ups, uh, box jumps, plyometrics, running, sprinting. You wanna run forward, backward, okay? Run side to side. Uh, side lunges, backward lunges, these are key. These are these should be the meat and potatoes of your program. Uh, planking is very important, all right? Um, all of these things, and different types of stretching. Yoga really covers all bases. If you got a good yoga program, they'll be working on stabilization, they'll be working on flexibility. There's a big reason why yoga is so popular amongst older people and anybody who's into health and longevity in general. Um, martial arts training is excellent if you choose a traditional school like for me I did Shaolin Kung Fu traditional Shaolin from the Shaolin Temple it's Chinese Kung Fu not that fake Shaolin Do crap um, I did this for four years and we did a lot of forms we did uh, which is basically like what karate is called kata where you basically um, you stay in different body weight movements for long periods of time well that's qigong but they're body weight movements basically which emphasize um ex a quick um like uh isometric body weight movements mobility flexibility it's basically like a moving yoga with martial arts movements um so uh pl not pilates but uh qigong is really great tai chi is decent tai chi is pretty much just kata and forms essentially but it emphasizes breathing. Um, anything that emphasizes breathing is going to be great as well. Breathing, mobility, stability, overall strength, and also cardiovascular uh, activity, endurance, and general strength training. You know, all of these things are very important. And you wanna keep your, your workouts below an hour each day. Like, you don't want to be exhausting yourself. You know, multiple sessions per day is great. But you just want to stay away from things that uh, put your body under too much stress. If you cannot recover from exercise, then you're taken away from health rather than adding health to your life. So, you know, have fun, get a great workout, get the blood pumping, get sweating, get breathing, and just work on mobility, work on joint flexibility. Do not beat yourself into the curb, you know. You don't need to be bench pressing till failure. And if you're lifting for health, I would say stay away from the bench press, and you could do dumbbell pressing instead. Overhead press is great. Um, kettlebell swings, all sorts of kettlebell movements. One great book that I recommend you guys check out would be Power to the People by Pavel, P-A-V-E-L, and then, I don't remember the guy's last name. He's like Russian or something, he's Russian. But look up Pavel, and then Power to the People talks about greasing the groove and avoiding injury um, while increasing skill level. So I can only record 10 minutes on my cell phone. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. So let me know uh, what you guys think and if any specific questions on exercise, I will, a I will answer. I'm also considering doing uh, exercise tutorials and actual demonstrations in the future.